Remember, this is a car that Will is sharing with Matthew Ryder, who will be driving it later on. Well controlled start by Will. I can't give you speeds and times at the moment on the screen. Yes, I can. 2.06 off the start and 105 at Bridge into Ed Torres and at Pardon he's quick 16.56 seconds through the S's nicely no dramas not even using all the road and Will kicks off with a 36.83 so he'll be pleased to be in the in the 36's having qualified with a 37.1 up comes the Empire Evo of Ben Stevenson, quick car and driver combination that we haven't seen very often. Ben qualified with a 38.15, but I think I think the engine got unhappy after the line, uh, so he's his first 64 feet were a tenth of a second slower than Will's. The engine's going now, but I think he lost a lot of time between, yeah, he's lost four or five seconds, hesitant engine between the start line and the bridge. So he'll be cross, he'll be cross with the car, <laughs> maybe cross with himself, slides it out of Tom Roach, obviously trying to go as quick as possible, get some experience on the hill, but it's a 43-3-2, we, we won't mention that. Zach Zamet. Stalls it on the way up to the start. And the engine doesn't particularly want to run. It's the Empire Wraith. Of course, with a Hayabusa in the back, and as I keep saying, Zach comes over from Malta, flies in. Oh, that's a shame. The engine has decided to stop 20 yards past the line, and because the rear axle has crossed the line, unfortunately, that is Zach's run. What a shame. So, next up will be David Uren in the GR55 Gould with its three and a half litre V8 engine. David qualified with a 37.66, was sixth in the championship last year, would love to get on the podium this year. Is um, pretty much certain to get a point, uh, get points because uh, but neither, uh, no, 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 no. neither Ben Stevenson nor Zach Zamet will be scoring points. Off the line, 2.19 for the start. But he's into it, Torres, happily. So he's... Um, a little bit behind at Pardon. He's facing Will Hall's 36.83, but now he's he's popped ahead by 11 hundredths and finishes with a 36.69. Pops him into top spot at the moment. 36.69 as against. Will Hall's 36.83. Here's David Warburton on the 1600 GR59. 2.19. Good start by David. He's a tenth up at the start. But a little bit behind at pardon and a bit more behind because of a second uh, 
uh, off the pace of uh, Will Hall. Uh, David Uren's quickest, of course. Of course, the 37 37-4-2. Up to the start line comes Richard Spedding in this amazing. Raptor with its 1300cc blown engine producing 450-500 horsepower and a car that weighs ooh, what 400 kilos max good start quickest so far for Richard Amazing that this little 1300cc car can mix it with the big four litres. Which is an amazing driver. Look at the speed with which he goes around. Pardon, although he's dropped a little bit behind David Uren at the moment. Yeah, he's half a second off the leading pace. But he can still, of course, he will score points. 37.1 for Richard. That's quicker than in qualifying he qualified with 37.23 brings us to Paul Hames in uh, GR59 again this time with a turbocharged 1300 Hayabusa and very sophisticated electronics to cope with the turbo lag or to minimize the turbo lag qualified with a 37.17 off the line really well 2.17 and 107 miles an hour through the bridge speed trap okay round at Tories couple of gear changes up to Harden quarter second down at the moment twenty six at the S's, it'll be in the 36's I think, it's a 36.76 for Paul, 36.76, but it puts him in second place. Now then, what can Wallace do? probably slapped on his best set of Pirelli tires qualified with the 37.15 we saw that Will was taking it pretty pretty gently all he had to do was qualify and he's not desperate about the class win as usual immaculate start exactly two seconds therefore exactly 1G and 107 miles an hour through the trap chucks it into the perfect line of the tourist, the late apex it's two thirds of the way round the bend hugs the inside at Harden and he's up by some margin three tenths or so up at the moment dropped it down a little bit at the S's only two tenths now got it back again at the semicircle and it's a 3609 3609 is top spot at the moment but remember Alex Summers qualified with a 3596 on the line Trevor Willis qualified with a 3685 what can Trevor do he's he hasn't got as much power as the uh, four litre Judd but nevertheless 1.95 is brilliant off the line uh, particularly on a day like today which is not very warm not huge amounts of grip but uh, Trevor 
Not for nothing did he win the hill climb championship three times. He's got enormous skill. But just a little bit a tenth behind at only a nine, nine hundredths behind at midway. He's ahead at the S's. He's ahead at semi. And is he ahead at the finish with a 36.05? He is. Brilliant. Four hundredths quicker than Wallace Ming is. So well done, Trevor. 36.05. <laughs> Now what can Matthew Ryder do? Engine has decided to stop. Inches it up to the start line. So Matthew, get the revs right this time. It's a big engine but it doesn't have a flywheel so very easy to stall it. Yes, got the revs exactly right. Minimum of wheel spin, 2.03 per 64 feet, 103 through the trap and heavy braking for Ettore's run. Barely wide at Ettore's, but no problem at all. Into Pardon comes Matthew. He's 800 down at the moment on Trevor. Now he's up at midway. <laughs> down again is really closed up up at semi by two hundredths now power will count 30 <laughs> 36 oh five shares 36 oh five with Trevor not often we get a tie for the win but remember we've got Scott Moran he's on the start line and Alex Summers still to come Now Scott qualified with 36.49 and Alex with 35.96. So they could pop into first place. Brilliant start by Scotty, 1.99 and 114. That's the quickest I've ever seen at the bridge speed trap. Brilliant. And of course he's still accelerating after the trap, so he might well be in sort of 117, 118. 17 tenths ahead now. What about midway? Ah, dropped a little bit. Slides it into the S's, lifts the wheel halfway through the S's. Can he get it back? Yes he can. 300 a semicircle. Now then, th yeah, 3599 for Scotty, well done. Now that sets quite a challenge for Alex, who brings the newly painted Firestorm up to the line. Cosworth XD engine, only 2650 as opposed to the 4 litres of the Judd, but it's, um, it's an IndyCar engine rather than a Le Mans engine. Two oh nine off the line, that's a tenth or so behind um, Scotty. But Alex could catch it up. Massive acceleration between Ettores and Pard whips it round Ettores. He's still three tenths off the lead. Can he get it back? It's coming back. Absolutely all square at uh, the S is. Remember he qualified with 35.96. Oh, 36.01. Oh, wow. Two hundredths behind Scott Moran's 35.99. Wow. What a runoff. What a first runoff for the championship. And another one this afternoon. Hold on to your hats. Talk to you later.